Providence's busiest stretch of highway is deteriorating fast, and tonight we've learned it's going to cost a lot more to fix it. The viaduct bridge carries more than 200,000 vehicles every day on 95 North, and now state officials say they need to come up with a plan fast. Target 12 investigator Ted Nisi broke the story this afternoon on WPRI.com. He joins us now with what he's learned. Ted. Caroline, Mike, this memo we obtained from the Rhode Island Department of Transportation says right now there isn't enough money to do this project, so the agency wants to fast track a plan to get more. Every local driver knows the Providence Viaduct. It's the collection of bridges that carries I-95 past the Providence Place Mall. State leaders have been concerned about its condition for years. Now Governor Gina Raimondo's administration says the northbound side is, quote, dangerous and crumbling. But her team also says there is not enough money in her 10-year roadworks infrastructure program to finish the project, partly because the price tag has more than doubled. In 2016, the Rhode Island Department of Transportation estimated the cost of repairing the northbound viaduct at $110 million. Today, the agency estimates the cost at $250 million. A RIDOT spokesperson sent this illustration to show why that number jumped. They now plan to not only replace the main bridge, but also change traffic patterns around it. And the agency has come up with a new plan to cover the cost by borrowing $200 million and paying it back over time with money Congress sends Rhode Island for highway construction. It's unclear whether state lawmakers will agree to the new plan. A Senate committee is scheduled to take it up on Thursday. Now, RIDOT tells me Roadworks is making slow progress toward the goal of getting 90% of Rhode Island bridges structurally sound. At the end of last year, about 77% of bridges were in good shape. But meanwhile, a study out just yesterday found Rhode Island still had the worst bridges in the nation as of last year. With the Target 12 investigators, Ted Nisi, Eyewitness News.